All right, Savvy, we are live. Welcome. This is show number 12. And this topic is brand new to me because I know a little bit about carnosine, but not a lot. So carnosine, when I was working at the health food store, was big with the bodybuilders. So you'll you'll put the thread to like why that is uh, true for me. But first of all, for those of you who do not know us, this is our 12th show. You can go back and get to know us. But my name is Tog Rowan, and I'm here with Savvy Vargas. We are all about uplifting humanity to grow, heal uh, on so many levels. Uh, physical, obviously, is, is so key, but we have our mind, and then we have the most, most high spiritual realm that is your pure positive state that will transform you with miracles. And we believe in that. Miracles happen every freaking day. And this is why we are here to help you believe in that power of your inner light to expand and grow not only yourself, but hum humanity, humanity. So yeah, so Savvy's here with me as my partner to do that. So welcome Savvy, just say a little bit about yourself and, and why you are qualified to really share the human body with us. Well, first of all, out of 11 previous episodes, I, that was the best intro ever. That was really a good intro. I love that. Thank you. It um, just came, come streaming in. Yeah, that was beautiful how that poured out of you. That was awesome. You could tell it's genuine when it just pours out like that. Um, yeah, my qualifications are pretty varied. Uh, back in the day, I started off literally with um, learning about massage of the human body. Uh, you know, so I graduated from the Idaho School of Massage Therapy, not to do as a business, really, just to have the knowledge. And I would incorporate it with family members. You know, I had a massage table and the oils and all that. But it was mainly uh, for the knowledge. That's my thing, is to study uh, creation in all its forms, especially the human body, and then apply it to myself first. You know, it's kind of like you can't be a lifeguard if you don't know how to swim. So I apply it to myself first, and then it spills out into, into others. Then I became a trainer uh, through National Academy of Sports Medicine. I also went through International Sports Science Association with different, different um, um, uh, techniques as regards senior fitness, women's fitness specialties with women. Um, and then all age groups, really, but I, I mainly work with older folks, core, balance, etc. Then a detoxification specialist, I went through that school. Then I went through a school for iridology, reading the iris. Again, all for myself, so I'm always looking at my own eye, right, going, oh, okay, there's a lymphatic rosary right there. We need to clean that out, you know, all myself first. Um Kind of like David Schmidt does with the patches, really. You know, he's kind of working on himself too, right? While he while he shares this with the rest of us. Um, yeah, for those who don't know who David Schmidt is, he uh, is an inventor of our patches. Has in, I don't know how many patents, hundreds? No, how many like patents? One hundred and thirty-one and growing. One hundred and thirty-one oh, yeah. patents on this light technology on the patches. Incredible, you know, and so uh, that's my background. So as, as regards my personal life, uh, I don't really watch television. I'll watch maybe a movie or a sporting event here and there, but I, I'm mainly 24 seven every day I'm researching. I'm always researching all the time. And it's like my addiction. My addiction is uh, taking in knowledge and then being able to put the puzzle together, like, okay, that's not true. That seems to be true. And again, an experiment of one on me. So I'm always biohacking myself, you know, uh, including the patches. So with carnosine patch that we'll talk about today, 
um, I really appreciated it about probably about nine months ago, even though I'm three years with the patches. About nine months ago, I really grew an appreciation for courtesy because I still train, but it's only me now that I train. I just train myself. And it comes into play as we'll learn with our slides uh, as regards to training. It's right. That, that tie into why the muscle building community uses uh, carnosine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I wanted to say one thing because I got goosebumps when you were sharing about how authentic and true to study that you are. And that is one of the or is the main reason why I have you over and over again, because I feel the expanse, expansive knowledge. It's beyond um, the written you know, study that you do. It becomes more of a channeling as well which is again that high connection to spirit and i sense that and so that's why my body is called to do more and more of these shows for us just like yeah. what i said at the beginning it's it's a powerful knowing that i have that you bring not just the book smart but it transcends um to a higher place. So yeah, I, I felt I needed to say reiterate that because that's what's drawing me to continue these shows because Savvy, we're on number 12. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. We're, we're pr being consistent. So yeah. yeah, that's a nice way to put that uh, channeling because you know, I'm very first and foremost, uh, I'm into spirituality, that realm of spirituality, because when you when you get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner with your thoughts and your internal environment, when you're cleaner, you sort of um, vibrate higher. And then you start to see, regardless of all the nasty uh, stuff you see in news or whatever out there, you start to just to, uh, tune in to the beauty of everything. So I'm attracted to the beauty of um the creative works. That's why, like with our Telegram channel that I'm doing, that you right have. follow uh, Force of Light on Telegram. That's Savvy's channel. Yeah, I, I like to put when I place something on there that's a that's a scene of beauty, like sunrise over the ocean. That invariably will lift the spirits of almost anybody. I mean, you have to be in a really dark place in the world to not have that elevate your spirit when you see this beauty I and mean, it's you know and so you mentioned early on the almighty well that each morning i try to tap into the almighty first <laughs> right and that's the spirit part and then that just cascades down into gratitude then you become the person that's grateful uh for the beauty around you and you you, you tune out of the matrix of fear and disease and fighting and war and everything over there. You know, you don't even tune into that anymore. It's that's out of here. You know, we're we're focused on that beautiful sunrise. Right. You're on the highest channel. You're not on any of those low tones, those low frequencies. You are tuned to the highest channel. Yeah. That's that's, that's basically what it is. What channel do you want to be on? Yeah. Right? Asking yourself. Change the channel. Change the channel. <laughs> That's it. All right. So uh, I'm ready if you are to talk yeah. about yeah. our topic. Let's okay. do it. First slide. Add to the stream. I'll take that off. We'll come back to that. And I want to show this because anytime we're talking about health and wellness, we have to put our little disclaimer up there. So there you go. That's right. Unfortunately, that's the world that we live in. So we have yeah. to uh, protect ourselves from the powers that be out there. You know, believe it or not, <laughs> there are those out there that have a vested interest in you staying sick, <laughs> actually. Uh, and so we have to remind everybody that we're not diagnosing, we're not giving medical advice, but we do believe in the body's ability to heal itself. <laughs> We do believe in that. So, yep. Great, great, great. So, there it is the healing power of carnosine. You know what's interesting? 
prior to the uh, starting this, you and I were talking about liposomal or nanotechnology delivery systems of nutrients, right? And um, I currently use a lipid-based delivery system for a, a couple of different nutrients. And one of them is actually called carnitine, which is different than carnosine. And so this morning I took some carnitine already. And I also took a uh, lipid-based uh, B complex uh, because the B vitamins are water soluble and you burn through them like you can't believe you really need them every single day without and not just B12, you need them all, all the Bs. And, um, but that's carnitine. And so now today we're going to talk about carnosine and it is way more powerful than people know. And that's why this to me is an important slide show because people are unaware, I think, of the power of this um, nutrient. Absolutely, yeah. I'm gonna learn so much today. All right, there's your next slide. Vital protein building block, and then interesting building block. But here's here's the part that that intrigued me that it's concentrated in the brain uh, and in the heart and the skeletal muscle, but very interesting about the brain because if any of us have in our lives older loved ones, say my mom is 79, she'll be 80 in May, and I've been working on her 24 seven every day for the last five straight years in a row. And my mom is in better shape now than she was at the age of 69. Wow. Wow. I love that. So it gives hope to all of those, you know, over 70 people, you know, who think that the aging is inevitable. We can reverse aging. So you feel like you've done that with your mom? For sure. I have. When my mom uh, moved here for the second time from Oregon, she had a very obvious limp uh, in her hip. She had had two back surgeries. She too um, never slept straight through the night. Forget that. That wasn't happening. No energy. Always tired all the time. She had a lot of problems, a lot of problems, filled up with mucus uh, from diet, from poor diet through her life. And in the last 10 years, she now is younger at 79 than she was at 69. And carnosine comes into play for my mom. In fact, yesterday, she was at my house and she was wearing it in the appropriate spot right here in the sternum area she had on her carnosine patch. And you're going to find out why. Um, but the heart mitochondria, so the actual um, energy, the energy factory of the heart is affected, the skeletal muscle for strength, stamina, and endurance, and then the brain, we're going to get into it. So again, it is a peptide, two amino acids, a dipeptide, unlike GHK, which is a tripeptide. This is beta alanine and histidine, alanine being used also in the 49 pack. And here's the key. Most powerful anti-glycation nutrient ever discovered. That's going to be in regard to that brain. So glycation is sugars gluey up, getting glued up with proteins. For example, barbecued chicken. Barbecued what? Barbecued chicken. So everybody's it's game day. We're going to barbecue on the grill and we're going to barbecue complex protein chicken. And I'm going to slap on there sugary, probably gluten filled barbecue sauce. Sugars with complex proteins together creates a glue and is a glycation product. Ah, wow. What an incredible example I, because it's outside. We can see it and you cook it and then it creates this glaze, this, this, uh, it, it's glaze. It's glaze. In chef language, we yeah. glaze the barbecue sauce so that it's like this sugary coating on the, and so that's glycation, glycation. Yeah, wow. So kind of like cooked up yourself a nice meal. Now, does it taste good? Yes. It's delicious, right? Especially so for those who 
love their meats. So the, for the people that love their meats, it's like, wow, really? What a bummer. What a bummer. Now, imagine they're like, I'm not giving up my barbecue chicken. You can forget that. Yeah. No problem. Just up your game on your carnosine then. There we go. <laughs> Prevents LDL from forming arterial plaque. How important is that? Yep, for the heart, Thinking for the circulation that. of blood throughout our body. Yes. And there is an epidemic of this. Epidemic. In fact, my mom, carotid artery, 100% occluded. 100%. They can't even do mainstream surgery because it's so occluded. You and they, and you just live with that, and then you just trust that there's enough circulation coming going to the brain. Because no. wouldn't that? No, we use well, things like serapeptase, natokinase. We use things like pomegranate extract, and we take these things on an empty stomach, and these particular uh, proteolytic enzymes eat it away, like Pac-Man. They eat it up. Takes time but we eat it up and then we stop putting in the oxidized oils. It's interesting. You talk to some people about cholesterol and they say there is not really HDL, LDL. There's only one cholesterol. The LDL is when the cholesterol is oxidized. Got oh, it. Got oh, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's an interesting little take on it out there in the holistic field that there's really only one cholesterol, HDL is the so-called good one, and the LDL, the so-called bad one, is just a oxidized version. Yeah. Savvy goes so fast. So um, I think we're getting it. And, and I get so excited about learning the mechanics of this machine, you know, and you have such a grasp on this machine that we all need to catch up a little bit. So, but well, I'll go back and listen again to, to what you just said. I, I somewhat understand, but... Yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, the thing is, Ta, like you started off with, we're after the truth, right? It doesn't mean that it's a universal truth for every single body, but some things are kind of universal because we're humans. We're all human. So it's like we're all the same and then we're all different based on what you ate your whole life, where you live exercise, you know, the environmental toxins you're living around, but we're all the same and that we're humans. And so some things are kind of universal when it comes to the human body, right? Like we have to have oxygen. We should all have clean filtered water. In fact, I'm going to be showing you something. If I could, I'd send you. Yeah, one. I am fascinated about water. There's so much uh, bombardment of this system, that system. So I really want to go into some of the systems uh, of water and what would be uh, the benefits of each of these systems. That's another show, but my mind is going to that next show. Okay. So anyway, this is a, this is sort of a overview of the role of carnosine in the body. Yes. Okay. Next. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you go. Oh, look at these benefits. Wow. So think about it. This is crazy. So we're already talking about glycation. Amyloid plaque is what it is. But look, he lights out heavy metals too. Really? Where is aluminum found? Every Pepsi, every Coca-Cola, every Sprite, every 7-Up, almost all of them are sold in aluminum cans. Yes. Every single vaccine, almost bar none has aluminum in it, right into the vein. And aluminum, per Dr. Cowan, aluminum will float a ride on white blood cells. And white blood cells are attracted to inflammation, right? And so white blood cells will carry now aluminum to a site of inflammation deposited there. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's per Dr. Cowan that aluminum can hit your ride with white blood cells. That's kind of scary, actually. All right. Yeah, that's that we talk about toxins in the blood or in the body. That is what we're talking about. These metals that uh, actually ride on a cell inside your circulation, inside your blood. 
That's what you just said. Yeah. Fish in a ride. If it passes the blood brain barrier, then it lands up in your brain as right. well. And it interferes with our electrical system and uh, gums up the works in the brain along with what we're going to talk about with plaquing. And now you get what? These dementias, um, you know, ALS, MS, um, Parkinson's, these crazy brain diseases. And uh, interestingly enough, for uh, Russell Blaylock, who is an extremely brilliant uh, doctor out there, he's got my favorite book I've ever read on health, um, talks about younger and younger people are getting dementia sometimes in their 40s so that's crazy yeah uh, boost the mitochondria the cell function which is the energy factory of our body and it produces atp brain uses 20 percent of the whole body's energy by itself so right i love this concept because it is so true when are you the most hungry after you've been studying or taking a test you're starving be why because your brain has used 20 percent of your body's energy you know using the brain is the most amount of calories wow interesting Crazy. lowers dementia lowers alzheimer you talked about that but here's the the, the point that that stood, always stood out for me was amyloid plaque because i've known about this amyloid plaque for a long time and i'm like this stuff is dangerous and so at, when you first learn about it you're like i need to watch what i eat that was like part one. I need to stop mixing complex carbs with complex sugars uh, because in the body, they, they, they become like a glue, like a paste, and it gums up your brain. Well, so, when we did the food combining show uh, with the colon, that is what you're talking about. When we're doing the food combining that is creating this plaque, that's what you're saying. Yeah. And so that's where you start to understand, just like with cigarettes, if you go back into the 40s and 50s, they had commercials for cigarettes with doctors promoting their favorite cigarette. And you can start to see via the media how the media will push out propaganda, which is not truth, to back up a corporation that's trying to sell you something. Yeah. Like in the case of barbecue sauce. So it's interesting. When I was still eating a lot of meat, I would search for like 20 minutes in a health food co-op for a barbecue sauce that doesn't have sugar in it. Good luck. Mm -hmm. I had to look and look and look and look. And I'm like, everything is loaded with sugar. I think I finally found one or two that was way low on the sugar. But by and large, they're all full of sugar. And so I'm like, wow. So all of a sudden you're like, how much do you care about your health? Do you care about more the taste of something or your longevity? It's like, do you have the willpower to give up that food for your longevity? Right. Well, and I sugar is the first priority, right? Giving nothing, up sugar. Nothing tastes better than how healthy feels. Ever. Yeah, I love that. Nothing tastes better as how healthy feels. That's yeah, so and good. Not pass. And look, sooner or later, it comes to get you. Sooner or later. Everybody has to pay the fiddler on that. And nobody gets away on that. Yeah. So it's kind of like uh, we want to, what would the expression? Proper planning prevents poor performance. Down the road. Yep. We're investing now. For later. Yeah. And again, I just want to address the uh, underlying addiction part of it as well, because this is the sa sad um, truth that we are highly stressed and uh, anxious and people go to sugar to k feel better yes. psychologically. So yes. that part is huge. And um, so the, the holistic uh, approach to healing is multi-layered. So you can't just think you're going to cut out sugar and not address why am I eating so much sugar? Yeah, you know, that's it's right. very important.
That's right. I mean, I even heard David Schmidt, again, the inventor of the patches. He's like, I'm no different than anybody else. I like sugar too. And so if you put down a chocolate fondue or whatever he was talking about in front of me, I'm going to be all over that. But it's kind of like this. It's like an 80-20. And then I'm going to try to get it to a 90-10. Yeah. To where by and large, I'm pretty strict. Yeah. With it on purpose. Yeah. Discipline, sure. discipline is a good thing. It really is. It it's will bring perfect. and move you forward in your evolutionary path. So not to underestimate the, the discipline part of it. It's true. I mean, again, because nothing tastes as good as healthy feel. But, you know, yeah. and, you, and what will happen is, for example, uh, I went to this place in town called Jaker's. Uh, we went to have a, like a lunch date and I ordered a pasta dish and I by and large I don't eat pasta anymore because usually it has gluten and yep. it's just sugar and so I had that dish and I, and I and I knew when I was eating it I was like let's let's not eat all of this pasta I'm just gonna eat a little bit of it. and then it had whatever else in it like a seafood thing whatever but I will tell you that within two hours I suffered the yeah. rest of the day from that I suffered from that. belching bloated i'm like okay again this is why nothing takes as good yeah healthy feels so i'm like no I'm done, I'm done with that i'm not yeah and the cleaner you are we've talked about this in previous shows the cleaner you are the more you pay the, you, the, the more, more you pay, pay. It, is, it is a law like gravity the cleaner you get i hear dr morse talking about it because he has a weakness for indian food you know, this got the curry and the turmeric. He has a weakness for that. And he's pretty much a raw food guy. But he said once in a while he caves in, he goes and gets some Indian food. And he said, and I'll suffer. I'll suffer for two days from that. But it's a comfort food kind of. You know what I mean? So um, it's kind of like me with um, in the mornings. I like a hot drink on a cold morning. Now, I'll have a coffee, one, clean, no mold, no pesticide, herbicide, just one, black, uh, black, no dairy in it, none of that. And it's just a sip. I don't even finish it, but it's a sip, a little comfort thing while I study. And then I switched here to green tea with ginger. Yep, nice. You know, and so <laughs> I've really gotten on the ginger ban bandwagon as of late uh, for circulation purposes and digestion. You know, it's related to turmeric, by the way. Let's not forget. So anyway, uh, most powerful anti-glycation nutrient ever discovered, ever, carnosine. Yes, and so interesting. I had to go look up uh, glycation. And the first thing that, that starts coming up is about skin and that the signs of glycation in the skin are cross-hatching wrinkles. That was fascinating to me. And then I, I said, oh, well, that makes sense. Because if uh, we see dementia and Alzheimer's, you see very uh, wrinkled people, you know? So it goes hand in hand, this fascinating uh, glycation um, that is very dangerous, right? Can you yeah. talk a little bit about what glycation is? Well, glycation is, as we talked about, is the binding of complex proteins with complex sugars. And when these things bind together, it forms a paste. And so you're talking about with the skin, it's very interesting that you would have this effect on the skin, right? Because it, it likens, what it, what it makes me think of is um, poor circulation now. Mm -hmm. because, Back okay. To the amyloid plaque, right? That that's what's happening. The plaque in the circulation, yeah. And and you know, especially in the brain, where it can cause these these problems with dementia and Alzheimer's. But you're reminding me also of maybe glycation spilling over into cross-linking with collagen, and hence the wrinkles. And so again, like one thing will spill over into another thing and then as we we have not touched on glutamate so like in in the old 
Chinese food world of MSG with glutamate. Glutamate is kind of um, excites the nervous system. And in some cases, some people can get um, an anxiety, a panic attack, or even a seizure from excess glutamates. Like my brother, my brother has seizures. Um, and so my brother can not go anywhere near glutamates. No, wow. no, no, no. That will excite the nervous system and he could have a seizure from that. And so very important uh, fact that it would remove excess glutamates, right? And so MSG is a flavor enhancer, right? But yes. Also is, in my opinion, a, a, a very dangerous toxin. Wow, it should not be even sold and put into food. That is ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, off we go. Uh, Benefits to the heart. Um, the heart contains the most mitochondria within the human body. Now, interestingly enough, from a magnetic field perspective. Two different sources. One was, um, mm, I can't remember who the one was. One is David Schmidt. And I forget who the other one was now. I think it's um, actually found in the fourth phase of water by Gerald Pollack. But when we get into the world of magnetism, a magnetic aura field around an organ, the heart is number one, much larger than the brain. So the heart has this magnetic aura around it, which is the largest of any organ. And here it talks about it has the most mitochondria for energy within the right. body. And look what it does. Over 100,000 times a day as a pump or as a vortex chamber, one of the two. How important is it to regulate calcium levels? If your calcium levels are off, you can get um, arrhythmias, right? If you have way too much calcium and not enough magnesium, you can get like arrhythmias and muscle twitches and all this other stuff because everything should be in the balance that it's supposed to be in. So that's important. And there's the uh, oxidized cholesterol, LDL. And then the telomeres, the end caps of the chromosomes directly linked to lifespan. We want to keep those long. Yes. Isn't this how they measure the age? The, yeah. the test, those age tests is based on the telomeres, the length of your telomeres. Telomeres, kind of like as the telomeres go, so your lifespan goes. Right. Now we're not even talking about quality of life. We're just talking about lifespan. So it reduces damage to those. So that's good. That's the heart the bullets on the heart muscle, because we talked about that it's concentrated in the heart. All right, here we go. Great. And we Benefits. talked about concentrated in skeletal muscle. So we have cardiac muscle, which is different than skeletal muscle. Cardiac muscle is unique. And now we have skeletal muscle, reduces muscle loss, strength, stamina, endurance. So should we increase our muscle strength? Should we increase our stamina? Should we increase her endurance? Well, that's why in the health food store, the bodybuilders loved it. And that's why if you're training at all, yoga, Pilates, resistance training, swimming, running, I don't care what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And older people who are having a hard time walking, could you imagine the amount of strength that they need to stay walking? Because it's hard the stamina and the endurance. So if anything, it should be for older people so that they don't fall. So they don't fall and break their hips. Yes. Because um, I still remember this study from the days when I was training. Uh, I, I would train uh, ladies that had osteoporosis and we had to be very careful with them, especially with the low back. And you can take them to the wall and have them literally come up on their toes and slam their heels up in the toes, slam the heels, which that impact of slamming the heels gently would help to increase bone density in wow. the low back. Because look, if they fall and crack their hip, 
within one year, 73% of them are dead. Yeah. Broken hips. So think about it. The X49 patch, which I don't know if we've done a show on that or not. I can't remember, but. If 49, no, we have not done a show on uh, X49. Okay. So the 49 patch, when we get to it, increases bone density. Well, that's why we train. We don't just train to say, oh, I want to look good uh, in my clothes. We train because we want to improve bone density and keep our muscle mass because it's you're going to lose it. You look like 10% a decade. Yeah. So by the time you're 60, can you imagine you lost 60% of your muscle? Right. Unless you're doing some of the age reversal uh, techniques and supplements that we're um, sharing with everybody, you know, because you can reverse aging. I The other day I had went to the gym and I kind of do full body workouts. Uh, I don't. I haven't gotten back into split routines. I do like a whole body every time. Well, actually, I've, I've tweaked it a little bit. Say, say, say it's upper body, but I still do a little bit of legs. But So it's like 80% upper, a little bit of legs. So I kind of do the whole body every time. Just more focused on upper body this day, lower body that day. Core every single time. Stretching every single time. A little bit of cardio every single time. And I, I had my shirt off and my wife was like, you still look, she's like, you still look just like when we met. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. That's yeah. like not even fair. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> but awesome. hey, here's the thing though. It's not necessarily true because say in 1998, maybe I weighed 167 pounds and maybe now I weigh 162 pounds. Oh, hmm. where did that? five pounds go right you're so going muscle. To muscle yeah muscle but also imagine this stuff if you're getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner you could shed five pounds of toxicity you could the average american is carrying like 20 25 pounds oh i know yeah. yeah so you could lose five pounds of toxicity easy so now stay hydrated. So muscles can be likened to bags of mineralized structured water. Mm, interesting. So go ahead and repeat that because you, you say these gems. So under your breath and there's like, go ahead say, say that again. <laughs> uh, muscles uh, can be likened to bags of electrically charged structured water. Right. And let's remember, 640 muscles, 206 bones. The muscles rule the skeleton. Yeah. Hence, we want to have muscles. Yes. Not show muscles, go muscles. <laughs> Fun Not show muscles, but go muscles. So show muscles are those big muscles that are overly big and they're not really going anywhere is that what you're yeah, saying like if i put a really i could put somebody in the in the ufc cage for fighting who looks like hercules and this other guy has hardly any muscle tone like that and beats him up bad what? that's totally what you're bad. saying that's, that's a good perfect. analogy perfect yeah those big Love show that. muscles take a lot of oxygen to keep yeah. going and after round one they're so tired they can for they're done you yeah know? See, these, these um gems that you throw out because you are so versed in how this machine works how our physical body functions you got the you got you just it's just like innate in you you know the 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 analogies to bring up that's a perfect analogy for those people who think big muscles are stronger not necessarily yeah. No. No, because they lose the stamina and the endurance. Yeah. So they're strong for five minutes. Yeah. But the fight is 15 minutes. Yep. Absolutely. The last 10 minutes, they're they're done. They're yeah. done. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, do you have any clinical studies? Well, 2010 study results, double blind placebo. Uh carnosine. 
significantly increases flexibility, balance, strength, and endurance in healthy humans. Now, um, what about if they're not healthy? What do we need to do there? We better clean them up. That's where the detox lifestyle comes into play. But Tal's going to know all about flexibility and balance. Right. I'm reading this and going, shoot, I have not tried the carnosine patch yet. So I'm, and I'm super sensitive. So I will, um, yeah, I'll feel it. If, it, if it's helping me um, with my flexibility, balance, and strength, I'll be able to feel this. So I need well, to experiment yeah, well, my own. Like we said, we are our first experiment. Yeah, we biohack ourselves. Yeah. Um, 125% increase in strength. That's a lot. Wow. And endurance, a lot. And listen, 30% flexibility is also a lot because if you can't touch your toes and you get a 30% increase, you might be touching your toes now. Yes. And yeah, the oh, people, they have, we have the goal. I have one student right now who has a goal to touch uh, his toes. And so he's did just this much, right? And so isn't that like, that's less than 30%. That's less than 30%. He's given this carnosine patch and next week he's going to be touching his toes and he's going to go, oh my gosh, it was the carnosine patch. And it's like 30% weight loss is a lot. 30% gained in height is a lot. So that's really a big number. But yeah. the one that standing out 100% for balance, I mean, come on. Here's the deal. I, I don't know if you can see this study that I just did. This is a study I just did called Barefoot Strong. And this is talking about the fact that human beings technically should be barefoot more than in shoes. Go or, repeat that again. Technically should be bare, barefoot. Barefoot more than in shoes. Technically. Oh, more than in shoes. For the for the for the study of balance and the study of um, uh, pr proprioception, meaning that the nerves in the feet are highly highly sensitive, and for us for our body to communicate with the surface we're walking on, for balance, barefoot is superior to shoes because the the nerve system of the feet are highly sensitive to the surface of the yes. ground. And as a mother uh, to a grandbaby who comes over in these gorgeous van shoes all the time, he's got, must have like six pairs of vans that are like this tiny. I'm like, take them off. I take them off and let them run around the house. It's my innate uh, intuition. I'm like, this child needs to have bare feet. So yeah. I, I need to send that book to my daughter. I love her dearly, but she's a fashionista and she loves the the fashion right now. Well, I mean, let's be real. I'm, if I'm out hiking in Yosemite or something, you know, you got to have shoes, some kind yeah, of shoes. That's true. But I'm just saying that when you get home, take the shoes off, take the socks off yep. and walk around bare feet. And so instead of having orthotics, because in this study, they go into different feet types, like flat feet, inverted, everted feet. Once you understand what kind of foot you have, uh, maybe superior to orthotics, you just train barefoot. And now we're talking about balance. So carnosine patch can help us with balance. And as we age, it's one of the things to go and. and so as you age, you should be even barefoot even more. Yes, 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 yes. I am with you. I'm barefoot most of uh, the day because of my work. You cannot do yoga in a shoes. You are barefoot. You're barefoot. And so yeah. for what you do, flexibility check, balance check, strength check, endurance check, you can hold a warrior pose for like two minutes if you don't have all of those things. Uh, hence, as you get older, if I could only pick one exercise, it would be a stretching modality. Uh, yeah, Tai Chi, Qigong, uh, huh. even martial arts, they're yeah. all barefoot, yes. All barefoot, and, and more important even than, um, if I had to pick, more important than resistance training, but resistance training is very important too, but. Yes. I'm just saying. So, okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Number seven. So again, we talk about uh, competition out there. Like 
glutathione like um, a stem cell injection versus a light activated stem cell activation patch. Where are we going to spend our money at? Because the carnosine supplements on the market, the pills, the powders, the drinks, the levels are, are not they're not high enough. They're trivial, trivial amount. And that's in 30 days too. So again, why, you know, everybody's got a messed up gut. You have to absorb what you're taking. And it has to bypass the G, uh, the GI tract. Whereas with our patch, um, or excuse me, they have to get through the GI tract with the pH of the stomach being like a two, 2.5. You got to survive that acid to get down into the small bowel. For absorption where the patch is light technology if i have those two aminos we talk about to make it the dipeptide then i can bypass the gi tract with light and i can boost it even within 24 hours not 30 days yep okay. so just another um i mean return on investment is what i'm talking about if I can get it in 24 day, 24 hours, not 30 days, of course, right? Uh, each day is important. Like we talked about being aware and grateful each day. Everything we're doing today has never been done before. It's all brand new. Right. Yes. We're in the now, being present in the now. This is your moment to manifest, to create your own reality in this present moment. It's only now. There, there's only now. There's only today, and today is all you will ever have. Tomorrow's a mystery. Yesterday's history. All you have is today. And that's it. All right. All right. Yay. Good. So how do we use this incredible technology that uh, David Schmidt has created for us with this light technology? Photobiomodulation, where the body's light hits the patch and all of a sudden we're creating this peptide, this dipeptide? No. What yep. was it? No, dipeptide. Yep, two. Interesting. These these expressions, conception vessel, governing vessel, these are via Chinese meridians. And so this is this is using Chinese acupuncture slash acupressure points to try to bullseye the effectiveness of the patch. In truth, and you'll hear even David say it, it's light therapy. So really, technically, any spot will do. But these are sort of like trying to bullseye it a little bit better. Again, trying to get the return on, on our investment. So as you, you can see there on the chart, Conception Vessel 17 is in the sternum. That's where my mom had it on yesterday. Notice what it says. May calm heart palpitations. Wow. Now, we talked about earlier that it helps regulate our calcium. So if our calcium and um, magnesium are off, we can get these electrical problems with the heart. Well, we talked about that it helps manage our calcium levels. So that could be one of the tricks right there. Governing vessel 14 at the back of the neck. That's where we put almost yeah. any patch will go there. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, and almost any patch will go there. Like I have one on there today. I forget which one it is. I think it's uh, I think it's 39 today back there I've got on. Large intestine right there is where I wear the carnosine patch every single time. That's where I put it. Right? I think that's what I'll do. I, I like that. So I always put it there. And then as you see there, good. Part seven, that's kind of where I put glutathione. Only glutathione technically it's a little more under the thumb than that. And then at the low back there, you see on the low back there, very interesting spot down there. Uh, notice that it says may help to improve eyesight. We didn't talk about that. May assist um, in, in inducing sleep. We didn't talk about that. And notice that it talked about calming spasms, convulsions, and epilepsy. Isn't that interesting? Yes, yes. Again, all the patches do more than they're marketed for. And as time goes on, they'll discover even more and more things, I'm sure, that they do. So there's things they're doing that we don't even know, uh, I'm sure, because light therapy 
is an understudied really uh field it's kind of understudied you know oh like, yeah it's it it is so new that the skepticism uh that this works that this technology works is uh it, to be honest a hurdle you know they're like no no way this not working well, yeah, you know, it's, it's, that's understand. why the deep dive, and that's why we're doing these shows. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, again, um, there's a lot of information that, that's been suppressed forever. I mean, for the longest time, you know. Look, Nikolai Tesla back in the day. Um, for a fact, I know it was a hundred thousand, but I did also recently read up to two hundred fifty thousand volts of electricity through his body. And he would hold a large light bulb over here and a large light bulb over here. And he was the power source for lighting up light bulbs. He was running 100,000 to 250,000 volts through his body and not dying. Oh, my gosh. I've never heard this. Wow. Nikolai this Tesla, cool. right? The wizard. The guy wow. was the wizard. Right. We're, we're, we're back. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So a light and a light and he's lighting the, the two lights up. There's a photo of this? Yeah, well, I don't know if there's a photo of it, but there's a drawing of it. I, I, I'm doing a study on Tesla right now. It's a huge book on Tesla. And um, David Schmidt's favorite, invent favorite inventor, by the way, Nikolai Tesla. Mm -hmm. And I teased him one time and called him David Tesla Schmidt because he's kind of a new new age Tesla. So again, it's not really, light frequency work is technically not new, but been suppressed. Yes. Because Tesla was doing it way back. Yes, back yes, back. yes. Wow, uh, wow, that was incredible. That was very, very helpful. Uh, always, learning, always growing. I love how you bring it to all of us in a way that we can assimilate and understand the machine that, that we are. This is a machine and we want it to function in a way that is optimal. And there's many layers. And so we touch, I am so proud of us because we do touch on a lot of different aspects not just the nerdy science because it can't be isolated it is all holistic yeah holistic it is. yes it is and that's why you know um any photographs that i've seen of you in your meditative pose legs crossed hands out meditation i just studied um who was it yesterday it was um Somebody in the field of essential oils, a doctor specialist with oils, and somebody else too. I can't remember who it was now, but they were talking about um, one of the greatest things you can do for your health, actually, is to find time during each day, preferably up to 20 minutes of just straight meditation. Yeah, quieting the mind. It was Bruce Lipton. Bruce yeah, Lipton. Bruce Lipton. Yeah, he's a stem cell biologist. Just 20 minutes of straight quiet. Yeah, meditation. Meditation. Yeah. And for me now, uh, walking meditations have been more of my go-to. And then if I do sit, I don't sit for more than 15 minutes. But, but the walking for... 30 minutes to an hour, reset, reset in the nature uh, bath. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you know, you're, the more you said like we're doing, the more you understand that we were designed to live on the planet. If you listen to the quacks, the real quacks, they tell you to be afraid of the sun. Yeah, yeah. And to wear sunglasses all the time. I do not wear sunglasses. No, no. I, what I'm wearing here are blue blockers. Right, right. The yeah, more, because of this. And I probably blue, should too. But. I, I can't believe, um, I can't believe the amount of fake light, LED, fluorescent. Um, the LED light is so prevalent now. It's like everywhere. Like these little lights women yeah, use. I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit from my 
from my little light. Yeah, I agree. I'm telling you, I'm going to change every single light bulb in my life to regular incandescent light, the one that's closest to natural light. I'm getting rid of every LED. Now, I'm staring at a blue screen because we're doing a Zoom, but I'm yeah. wearing these things. The reason why is, as the research goes on, uh, cataracts, damage to the retina, um, it's damaging to the eye. Yes, yes. People are living on, all, I mean, the most in history. Living all right, on. you convinced me. Maybe I should put my glasses on. I'll, I have some. I did, they're just in a drawer over there. I want to see how you look with them on. Go get them. Uh, no, see. no, no. Next time. I'll put them on. I'll put on next time. Because well, we gotta go. We gotta go. People, people are done. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna wear them next time. All right. I know they have a glare and everything. But but I, yeah. Look, the, the bottom line is <laughs> I love it. I love it. Not, All right, Savvy. Any last uh final words for our viewers? Um, no, but I sure have a lot of things popping up for future um podcasts together. There's so much, um, but I think we, I think we've been weaving them together pretty nicely. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, so for right now, if you have not, uh, watched the, the X 39 show and the copper peptide show, that is the stem cell activation. You know, that is the key to reversing our aging. And again, what what should I put up here? I should put up uh, the information on this podcast is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. And use your inner knowing to uh, take full responsibility for your own health. I'm yeah. glad you said that about the X39 because uh, even though this was about carnosine and upgrading the heart, upgrading skeletal muscle, removing parts of the brain. That's kind of all um, super important, especially clearing up, detoxing the brain like that. But then we have to have the stem cell activation for rebuilding tissue. Yes, yeah. And so they all kind of, they all kind of piggyback with the 39. Yes, 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 yes. And that's why those two shows are the best, the X39 specific, and I'll put them in the show notes. Uh, and then the, what is the copper peptide, you know? So yeah. those two shows are the first shows to start with and we're on our 12th show and we've just completed it. Thank wow. you so much, Savvy. Um, until next time. Okay. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. We really appreciate you. And if you're sharing this, please, um, subscribe. So subscribe and share. Thank you so much. All right. See you guys next time.